Now, before we get started, I want to thank the main sponsor of this video, which is Gunspot. Absolutely the coolest new website you guys are going to find out there. They sell everything Second Amendment related. Some of this stuff is going to come in at prices you just won't find anywhere else. They also have as part of their site auctions, so you can find things for even less than you would find them new. You can also buy new at the auction, so there's a lot of different stuff to see there. They have stuff like the War Room and Battle Station. They have uh, the Academy. You can learn things. They have videos and blogs, and really, it's an all-encompassing experience, so definitely check out Gunspot. Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So it feels like we've been talking about HR 1808 for a majority of the year now, and that's because it's Congress's latest so-called assault weapons ban bill of 2022, which was supposed to be very similar to the 1994 Clinton ban. That ban was sunsetted in 2004, and since then we've been trying to keep it that way. We've been trying to make sure that that ban does not come back. Well, this ban in 2022 seems to have had the best chance since anything has been introduced yet. Well, it made its way through the House, it passed the House, and then it went on to the Senate. Now, in the Senate, it's pretty cut and dry. It's almost 50-50. The vice president would be the tiebreaker, and I thought this thing actually has a semi-good chance of actually passing the Senate, and if it does, the president has already said that he's going to sign it. Well, it looks like now that might not be the case. So according to Senator Chris Murphy, the Senate does not have the votes to pass H.R. 1808. They at least, at minimum, need to get it to that split where the vice president would be the vote that would be the tiebreaker. If they can't even get to that point, then it's pretty much done. It's going to stop there. It fails in the Senate. And we are very close to the end of this legislative session, which means H.R. 1808 is pretty much just going to be a footnote in the past. Now, we all know just based on history that they're going to try something like this again. It's not going to be the last time. They might reword it, make it look a little bit different, but it's really just going to be the same old thing that's going to try and go through Congress. They've been trying it since the 94 ban uh, sunsetted in 2004, but thankfully the makeup of Congress has changed. So before, when the Democrats had control of the House and they could pretty much put whatever they wanted through, and they almost had a majority in the Senate with the vice president being the tiebreaker, uh, you know, it, things could things could move. The Democrats could make things move. But now with the House being in control by Republicans and this legislative session almost being at an end, uh, it's going to be highly unlikely that we see that much movement in a bill like this one did. Uh, I think that if things would have kind of remained a little bit more status quo, we may have seen this bill actually go up. But I'm glad that it's not because we've been watching this one really, really closely. And uh, again, we all know that it's totally unconstitutional. They couldn't do it to begin with. But they like to pass things regardless of what the Constitution says. And that's what they would have done here. So, you know, just seeing it stopped in Congress before it makes it any further, before, you know, any major legal action needs to be taken or court filings and things like that, where it's this huge legal process that takes years, it's nice to see it just stop here. We don't even have to get to that point. So again, H.R. 1808 has failed in the Senate, which is fantastic news that I wanted to share with all of you because uh, it, it sure moved its way through Congress pretty quickly until it stalled out in committee in the Senate. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. That's uh, some good, good news for your Monday. You guys have a great day.